One group affected by the outbreak, inmates. Some are actually being released from the Greenville County Detention Center. The South Carolina Supreme Court urged all courts to release non-violent offenders and reduce bond for those awaiting trial in order to cut down on crowding. And tonight, a criminal defense attorney breaks it all down for us and explains what this means. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer live outside the detention center tonight in downtown Greenville. So, Brooklyn, what are they doing to make sure these defendants will come back to trial? And, you know, a lot of people are kind of curious about this, kind of worried too. Yeah, Cody, well, right now they're issuing um, personal recognizance bonds for a lot of those nonviolent offenders, and basically they have to sign a promise to return to court at a later date. With confined quarters, shared cells, and communal space, jails are a growing concern for spreading the coronavirus. You're not going to have as many people in jail while they're awaiting trial as you would have prior to the outbreak, uh, and obviously I think that's because uh, the jail is seen or jails are seen as um, densely populated areas where the virus could spread very easily. Andy Mormon is a criminal defense attorney in Greenville. He says nonviolent inmates and defendants are being released from jail due to concerns about COVID-19. Everybody understands that social distancing is important right now, uh, even in the jail. So I think, again, as a practical matter, um, a person charged with a crime will likely have a better chance of being released prior to trial than they would have otherwise. This comes after South Carolina Chief Justice Donald Beatty issued the request last week, urging any person charged with a non-capital crime be released until their trial, unless they're considered a danger to the community. Chief Justice um, signed an order last week that encouraged um, magistrate judges to set bonds uh, more to set what are called personal recognizance bonds, which um, makes it easier for defendants to be released on bond while they're awaiting trial. Those inmates are approved and released after signing a written promise to show up to court at a later date when trials resume. Probably the most profound impact has been the fact that our court system is not functioning right now. So there are no uh, hearings for guilty pleas, there are no trials being conducted, there are no sentencings being conducted in state court or federal court. Now, some inmates are also being released on home monitoring programs as they await trial. Live in Greenville County, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.